I've got to tell you that one of the things I'm most excited about with my new E-Pace is the way it fits into my very active lifestyle. Uh, so this, I imagine, really is the solution, the activity key? Oh yeah, the activity key is such a good idea and I'd love to tell you more about it. So when you leave the vehicle and all the doors are closed, you simply place the activity key here, right to the left of the logo. Okay. Yeah, that locks the vehicle and sets the alarm. And you've got 30 seconds to do that from when the doors are closed. Then when you want to return to the vehicle, it's very simple. You wake up the system by pressing the button right here and then that gives you another 30 seconds to go ahead and put your activity key right here again. And that's going to unlock the car. It's easy. <laughs> so I press the tailgate release button. Yes. Then the activity key goes over here. And then one last press. It's open. Nicely done. Thank you. Well, just keep in mind that there is a certain timeout time after you've locked the car um, that you won't be able to get back in. And this is important to know um, in case you need to quickly get back into the car to get something out. Okay, I've got it. But I've been wondering, what happens if you do leave your spare smart key inside the vehicle? Well, it's a very smart system, actually. It's designed so it's going to deactivate any of the smart keys that are left inside of the vehicle once you've used the activity key to lock an alarm. Uh, they re-enable as soon as you use the activity key or a valid smart key to unlock the vehicle. Okay, that's perfect. But can I have more than one activity key? Why, yes, you can. You can have up to eight. Do you think you'll need all of those? Oh, you have no clue how my family <laughs> rolls. Yeah. But do remember that only the activity key used to lock the vehicle or a valid smart key will reactivate the disabled activity key left inside of the car. So, okay, so I've got it now. The key that I originally used to lock the car becomes the dominant one. That's right. But don't worry, you'll never be locked out of your car, but you won't be able to start it unless you have a spare smart key that hasn't been disabled. You can also use the Jaguar Remote app to unlock the vehicle, but doing so will not reactivate the disabled smart key.